Are you being serious? You don't uh, defecate at work. You can't control your bodily functions. <laughs> what? You can't what? <laughs> 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 he loses it. The group does ace mike we're about to do a reaction on uh conan o'brien as the property brothers to renovate jordan's slank slank to office yeah we got that right i'm not sure i think so so but, yeah uh, yeah uh, i recently got him into watching a whole bunch of conan skits we probably should have reacted to some of them but i was so weird especially just... that the magic mic one. The magic, oh man, I really wish I would have showed you that as a reaction. <laughs> it had me dying. And uh, there's a, our first video will be up hopefully before this one. Yeah, most likely. Uh, what was the other one? It involved Jordan Slansky too, right? Oh, the, uh, the, the, the puzzle room. Yeah. The puzzle room. The escape room. Yeah. All right, so uh, if you guys are fans of Conan and you watch his skits, you'll know that he's renovated Jordan Slansky's office twice now i think because <laughs> he had a he had someone clean it come clean it up for him and then another time where he split the office in half it just took half his office from him so i have i haven't this is a new one i haven't seen this one and uh this I one uh has the property brothers in it yeah who, which i don't know who they are but apparently he does they're from hgtv uh, that's probably why I don't that's where i got are. my motivation to uh, fix my home and renovate it nice nice so let's see how this one goes let's get into this I haven't mentioned this gentleman for a while, but I do need to discuss him tonight. We have an associate producer. You may know him. He's on our show, and his name is Jordan Schlansky. Schlansky. Yeah, we'll insert some booing there. Anyway, so, yeah, there's no uh, crowd for as long there. as I can remember, Jordan... I swear, I think this guy just likes to fuck with him, bro. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Like, it's like his, his life goal, because this guy, like, I don't know. And then the other guy never loses his cool, like... He just has his face like. I'm like, telling you, he's basically the equivalent of a real life Sheldon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Jordan's office has been an embarrassing mess. Well, earlier this year, just before our studio was shut down by the COVID 19 pandemic, I mean, literally like two weeks before, I called in some big names to tackle a renovation of Jordan's office. All right, so okay? this is pre COVID. We were going to make this a great remote. We brought a camera crew. We even screened what we shot for an audience back in March. Literally one of the last audiences we had before COVID shut us down. Nice. Then the lockdown hit and we had to delay completing Jordan's office renovation until now. As you know, uh, I work with a guy named Jordan Slansky who is a terrible slob. Just a pig, his office is a mess. I've tried many times to clean it up and it's dirty again immediately. I'm sick of it, I give up. That's why I brought in the big guns, the Property Brothers. Well, we're glad to be here, and this really shows us his employer how much you, you care about him. Oh no, I, uh, I'm happy if he dies tomorrow. Hello, <laughs> have you met the uh, Property uh, no, no. Brothers? No, I haven't. Usually I stand when uh, people it's come into the room and I greet them, I think that's more polite. Would you like to stand? I'm comfortable the way I am. <laughs> We've offered to do this for free to help you, um, and this is taking up a fair bit of our time because, <laughs> I mean, look at the space. This is a, a lot. To add. I mean, we're we're here to actually add some features that really make this the pimped out space that you would like to have. I don't want to put anything in here. I didn't initiate this whole practice at all. Let's put this politely. <laughs> I'm not asking you. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. we're going to clean up this space okay. because you represent Conan, mm -hmm. and I am known for class. I am known for uh, aesthetics. I'm known for uh, a high level of design. Look, you gentlemen clearly have an agenda. I'm gonna remain passive in this situation. Uh, why don't you proceed to do what uh, you intend? We're giving, oh you, we're giving you an office Is that what you say before you're molested? I mean, Jesus. <laughs> for God's sake. You'd last long in prison. Well, you gentlemen have an agenda. I will remain passive and you do as you please. What, what's a couple things about yourself that would help us understand what's important? What to are you? your interests? I'm a deep thinker. I explore. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you. 
You love Italy, do you not? I do. I, I got married in Italy, so I mean, I know Italy very well. When you say you got married in Italy, therefore you know Italy very well. Are those two things necessarily connected? You're weird. Um, You're I, weird. I, I do like <laughs> what about something very cool, like, I don't know, like a pasta station? Yes, a food area where You're they would weird. be making you fresh pasta in your office. Would you like that? The problem with eating carbohydrates on their own without protein, fat, and fiber to balance them out is that it creates a spike in blood sugar. Then the pancreas secretes insulin to remove the sugar from the blood. That sugar is stored as fat. The body is a very efficient mechanism and you don't want to waste that energy. So you don't like Italy? Personal grooming is very important. You like to shave <laughs> yeah. the body, shave sure, the face? I, I... I respect the human body that we've all been given, and I like to present it in its best possible condition. Well, you know what? Uh, we share some traits. I take care, yes. I mean, I have, I have no hair. Body. Let me see. You actually shave your no, body. No, I lasered it. I lasered it. I believe in just having regular Do you hair. remove the hair from your chest? Uh, I lasered twice. Yeah, it doesn't seem consistent with the, the hair on your legs. No. And in fact, all three of us have modified our body hair. In this scenario, you're the odd man out. I believe in letting it grow. Uh, it looks like a, a, a copper Brillo pad uh, beneath my belt. And that's my way of going because I've been in a very, very long marriage. And, um, well, I think enough said. Tampa. Why do you have OMG? Why do you have this here? This is a toilet stool. It, it ensures proper orientation of the puborectalis muscle, which is the muscle that right, I'm positive, okay. All right, so that, you know what those are, right? Like little poop stools? Yeah. Well, when I was going to college, one of my instructors uh, was a, he's a, he was a vet. He went to, to Iraq and uh, he was telling me that where he was stationed, they were stationed with a lot of Muslims. And he says that that's what they do when, when, when they go, well, not necessarily that, but when they, when they use the restroom, like they stand on like the toilet so they can squat because supposedly that's like the more natural way to shit is like because your your how do you say your colon is straight basically so it just like bloop, it just drops down it's the more natural way it's the more easiest way efficient way to take that's why uh people sometimes get shorter toilets yeah so it's like a squatting position yeah i've actually heard that so so he was i didn't want to say this but my dad has that like he did the restroom that way. Well, it's on YouTube now forever. So. Oh, it's my dad. <laughs> so we don't live uh, in the same house. True. So he he uh, he was telling us all this, and he was telling us that he has a stool that he bought and that he uses it because of like what they taught him over there. So now he does it too. He uses that stool so he can get as much of the, the crouch position as he can. And the funny thing is, he would take it to him to to the college. And like there was one time where we were coming back from lunch and we saw him walking out of the restroom and he was holding the stool with him. And it was just the funniest thing. This gangster. For real. All right. Contains continents. So this is like a squatty yeah. potty knockoff. No, this is a uh, squatty potty. This is of their course, luxurious it's... model. It's made of bamboo as opposed to a lower quality plastic. Why is it still in the box? Uh, I haven't unpacked and assembled it yet. I have a feeling he uses it and then puts it back in the box. It's the only thing that's organized in this office. Hold on a second. <laughs> the hate in his eyes, dude. Why do you have two of them? <laughs> Why do you have two? Hey, have you go up to people in the subway and say, how about a little side-by-side -side pooping? What about a toilet? Could we put a toilet in this he space? So that he, could... he might literally never leave. Would you be willing to... Uh, evacuate your bowels in here if there was a toilet. Uh, I don't do that in the workplace. How do you, you, you save it up for all day? Like, do you save it up for 10 hours? Uh, my body's on a natural rhythm. I've uh, taken great steps to ensure the uh, natural digestive rhythm of my body. I yeah. take a Wait, probiotic are you supplement. Are you, being are you being serious? You don't uh, defecate at work? You can't control your bodily functions. <laughs> I love when he brings it's characters, it's so rare. The way he so laughs, rare. his eyebrows get so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't need to come to the work. That's not evacuate healthy. When my you bowels. have to go, you have to go. Wait, so you, I don't have to go. So you have never pooped at work? No. That's insane. That's crazy. How I, do you plan that out? My body follows a natural rhythm. It's almost circadian. I'm surprised that you are caught unaware so often. <laughs> do you defecate at work? Jordan, all people, uh, eventually, first of all, I'm a celebrity, and as they will tell you, we just don't defecate at all. No, no. no. 
But you, as a person, no, everyone does. Down. How many times a week would you say you defecate at work? Well, I think you're talking about a very... This is a disgusting topic. Well, I didn't initiate the topic. You're the one that introduced the topic by having not one, but two bamboo squatty potties. So before the show is when you'll normally <laughs> evacuate your bowels if you need to. I have during, during the show, uh, back, that's what, why we had a desk. And one of the investors in the film came that's to why we have a desk. Silo, who help us make the movie, uh, which consisted of him in a, a Brooks Brothers suit and a cornfield. Would you evacuate your bowels here in the privacy of your own room if we had sort of like a prison toilet here? I wouldn't evacuate my bowels in this workplace whether there was or was not a toilet in this office. I will not eat green eggs and ham. I will not defecate, Sam I am. Decorative <laughs> elements, do you have any thoughts? Yeah, I mean, if you want this to really embrace your passion for Italy, maybe like a like a marble statue or something like that. That'd be know. fantastic. Uh, no, I don't see the value in that. No, well, sorry. then that would be a yes. Then, look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> The big ass head. <laughs> and that that is the size. Conan Conan came in early and measured it up. Actually, I'd be happy with that. <laughs> I mean it's pretty nice, eh? Jordan, congratulations. And now do the thing other humans do, which is thank uh, Jonathan and Drew for their help. Thank you. Pleasure. You're thank welcome. you. Look forward to seeing your face when we're all done. Okay. Normally, okay. this is where we'd show you our 3D computer animation and talk about how the renovation would proceed. Yeah, but our big plans for Jordan's office, that went out the window when the pandemic hit. In fact, since Conan's Warner Brothers studio closed down and was abandoned by humans over five months ago, Jordan's office was turned into a breeding ground for rats, raccoons, and the nine banded armadillo. As a result, Jordan's office has been condemned by the city of Burbank, which forced us to rethink our renovation. First, we're gonna return Jordan to his office, then reimagine the entryway by sealing it up with beautiful reclaimed bricks imported from Tuscany, <laughs> giving Jordan's final resting place the Italian style and look he craves. So Jordan will be sealed off from all human contact and run out of oxygen pretty quickly, is that right? Mm, two hours, tops. Fantastic. Oh my God. This is exactly what I dreamed it would be. I'm not sure about Jordan, but Conan seems pretty happy about the outcome. He does. Oh, actually, Conan, something we're extremely happy about. It's the Brother vs. Brother premiere on HGTV. Very smooth segue. I try. Thanks, Conan. Very smooth segue. <laughs> they didn't even get to re it. They just took it down. <laughs> they put the... That's hilarious. Just build the wall. Yeah. Uh, so I got now that they mentioned so much Italy stuff, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to see if I can find one of the videos where he takes him to Italy. No. Yeah. Really? <laughs> oh, we gotta watch that. Yeah. So, so our next video, if we find it, will be uh, Conan taking uh, Jordan. his uh, Jordan yeah. Schlansky to, to Italy. Italy. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. So stay tuned for that one, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. The little ring, 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 <laughs> and uh. I got nothing else. Oh, hey, thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, stay safe, wear a mask, don't be a douche. And hand sanitizer. Hugs. Deuces, guys. Peace.